So one of the questions that we get asked a lot is what are some of the primary reasons for spousal visa or spousal adjustment of status denials? And so, well, first and foremost, visa is outside the country uh, typically, and then adjustment of status typically happens, well, not typically, always happens within the United States, here within the United States. And so um, the reasons are as varied as the type of, you know, people making the application, but, but they generally fall under several categories. And so the first category is you got denied because you didn't have the right forms or the right requirements. And so, you know, there's several requirements for eligibility. You know, you have uh, things like uh, you have to have been married and then there's a sponsorship requirement, you know. And so in this category here, uh, the first one is they didn't have the right requirements and typically that takes a little less time for people because they get denied uh, they get denied faster and so uh, now that being said if you filed uh, your case wrongfully or there's some kind of issue you know it could be bouncing around for a while and you know you could be asked several times to provide you know different types of evidence and I mean we've had cases that have lasted uh, two years too long, you know, I mean, not our cases, but, you know, cases that have come in and, you know, typically people will go and they'll mess it up and then they'll come in and tell us to, hey, to fix it. And, and by then it might be a little trickier to do. But so, so the first aspect is you filed it wrong. You didn't file the right stuff. Now, the second aspect of the spousal visa is really the filing was okay uh, and then you got to the interview and then there were some issues and typically these are bona fide marriage issues so meaning is the marriage valid uh, the the big mistake that people make is to think that well you know uh, we're just gonna file and you know we think our marriage is real so it's not a problem so it's not about the marriage that you have it's about the marriage that you're able to prove to the government and so if they see uh, telltale signs that you know what you have is not real you know you have a thin stack of documents and you know there's a bunch of other you know considerations uh, they will you know th th that is likely to be a, a denial so you have uh, again you have requirements you know you don't meet the eligibility and then on the flip side let's say you meet the eligibility now did you prove your case did you show that you had a bona fide marriage uh, and that you, 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 you you are entitled to this benefit. So these are the two camps. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, uh, post them below. Uh, if you need help, uh, please don't hesitate to reach us. Uh, you can find the information below in the description. Thank you for watching.